Hey everyone, today I want to share my experience using various note-taking apps. I've tried plenty, like Evernote, Notability, and GoodNotes, but Apple Notes remains the top dog. It's the simplicity and the fact that it's free that makes it perfect for daily use. Just like most note-taking apps, Apple Notes uses a folder system to keep things organized. First off, you have the regular folders. You can use these to sort your notes however you like and can even move notes from one to another by simply dragging and dropping. But then, you've got smart folders, which are one of the really cool features recently added to Apple Notes. If you use tags in your notes, they'll automatically be sorted into the appropriate smart folder. With iOS 16, you can also add filters to these tags, which is pretty awesome. You can create as many folders as you want, and you can even nest them up to five levels deep to keep everything tidy. Besides the folders you create, Notes actually already includes a set of default folders, the Notes. Folder contains all unsorted notes, while the All iCloud or All on my iPad folders let you access any note currently in any of these places. Quick Notes are saved in the Quick Notes folder. Pretty straightforward, right? When you delete a note, it goes into the recently deleted folder where you can restore it within 30 days before it's permanently deleted, unless you change this setting. Apple Notes sorts your notes by the last edited and goes even further by grouping them by date, like today, past seven days, etc. The app makes it super easy to find anything anytime thanks to features like optical character recognition, which can spot search terms in text on handwritten pages, or even in attachments like images or scanned documents. You also have access to other tools, for instance, you can pin an important note at the top of a folder, so it's always the first thing you see when you enter that folder. Regarding the display, Apple Notes offers two viewing modes. By default, it uses a list view, where notes are split into three navigation panes, folders, notes, and content. This view shifts depending on the device orientation. List view is perfect if you need to keep track of multiple notes at once, as it allows you to see more notes simultaneously. The second mode is Gallery View, which displays a thumbnail for each note. Compared to List View, it's a bit handier and offers more customization options. For example, you can increase or decrease the thumbnail size, which is pretty cool. No matter which view you choose, you can get a closer look at any note simply by pressing and holding it. The toolbar in Apple Notes might look small compared to other note-taking apps, but it packs more than enough features to get the job done. Typing out notes using either an on-screen or external keyboard is one of two ways to add entries here. Once you do, you can use the context menu to change the text style and formatting. If you're a fan of printed text, Apple Notes comes equipped with built-in handwriting to text conversion, mostly using the scribble feature on your iPad to turn handwritten notes into typed text. Whether you're drawing or jotting down notes, you've got plenty of options. If you've upgraded to iOS 16, you now have four different types of pens, a pencil, and a marker to choose from. Each tool pretty much does what its name suggests, and you can adjust their thickness, color, and opacity. The Pencil. Tool works great with the Apple Pencil for drawing and sketching. It's pressure sensitive and has virtually no lag, making it a joy to use. When you make a mistake, you'll need an eraser, and Apple Notes offers two types. The Pixel Eraser, which works like a real pencil eraser, and the Object Eraser, which lets you tap an object to erase large sections at once, rather than having to move the Eraser tool over each part. The Highlighter tool is used for emphasizing specific parts of your notes, and like the Pen and Pencil tools, the Highlighter has five preset thickness levels and an Opacity slider. It's nice that even at 100% opacity, it won't obscure your note. You'll also see some other tools on the toolbar, including the Lasso tool, a color palette, and a ruler. Additionally, there's a text tool that lets you add text or a caption, and a shapes tool. Now, to create a new note, no matter where you are in the app, all you need to do is hit this button right here, and a blank note will automatically appear on your screen. Here, you can tap the three dots to customize your workspace. In the Lines and Grids menu, you can select different background layouts, or hit Customize Toolbar to rearrange or remove items from the toolbar. To create a quick note on your iPad, just tap the lower right corner of the screen with your Apple Pencil. A quick note will pop up. Start writing or drawing right away. To save it, press the Done button. The note will automatically save and be available in the Notes app. Another way to make a quick note on an iPad is through the Control Center. 
If you haven't enabled this feature yet, you can do so in the settings under Control Center. It's super easy to add Quick Note as an option. Now, here's a slightly hidden feature. Every time you need to draw a shape, using your finger or an Apple Pencil, and if you're like me, not an artist, your circles might not be perfect circles, and your squares might not be perfect squares. The hidden trick to clean this up is that after you draw a shape, keep holding it down until it highlights, then you'll see the option Snap to Shape. If you tap Snap to Shape, your imperfect form will become perfect, making your notes neat and organized. You can import files via email or the Files app, but they'll be treated as attached documents. To extract information from an attachment, you need to open it, select the text, and copy it into the body of the note. Apple Notes packs some cool features. You can create checklists and tables. Apple Notes allows you to make interactive checklists and tables using icons on the toolbar. Another handy feature is data recognition, such as phone numbers, email addresses, or dates. For instance, if you input an email address, Apple Notes will let you either send an email or save it to your contacts. Excited to announce that the search for the best note-taking app is over. Apple Notes is your go-to. It's easy to use, intuitive, and free, syncing across all your devices. Support us by hitting like and subscribing to our channel for more detailed info. Have a great day. See you next time.